bumped your head on my water bottle. That's what you get for running your head. Wow. <laughs> same old, same old. <laughs> the quiet is better than my mittens. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Let's try to let's try to pull this this buckled board out here. Are you gonna try to preserve the boards as much as possible? No, I don't think so because I'm not taking these off. Okay. Yeah. Although this came off pretty nicely. Where would you like me to stack these? Why don't we just stack them crossways right there and I can pick them up? A lot of nails. Yeah. You know what? I just, yeah, I mean, definitely don't want to don't want to burn this stuff here I mean, with the nails in there. Pretty, yeah, a lot of times those screws are so rusted. Mostly what not to do. <laughs>
we can break it. Uh, this is uh, this is interesting. I'm gonna pull off. Okay, there I can see the floor system. I can see the the shiplap tongue and groove coming on the outside of this two by twelve. Question was that I was trying to answer was whether these exterior walls were resting on the two by eight floor system or resting on this exterior band that helps and uh we're gonna now we can tackle uh trying to support this floor system correctly so that's the next step <laughs>
stuff can be a little hmm? this stuff can be a little tough to start we need to pull this off think good. it is good right, let's measure it. Okay. and if you would just if you would hold this here and I'm gonna make you a mark because this tape won't this is 30 feet it won't <coughs> fall sure I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, um... Should put the curled side down. Hold, hold this. Um, maybe. Hold that, the, that side of the wall. There you go. Let me see how this conforms. Maybe I should move the nail thing. Move the tip off of here. Hang on. I just don't want to... Yeah. I'm gonna you go. Think you should go a little wider. Nine inches. No, it can't. Here, hold, hold that. Hold that there. So I'm gonna go five and a half here. Yeah, and this isn't really gonna mark on here very well. I just want to score the back side of this. So this is eighth inch. I'm going to set this sod about a sixteenth of an inch. And let's give it a try here. <laughs> Straight down. Oh, it doesn't have to be. So when you shoot this on, when you shoot this, you want to kind of hold down and pull the trigger. And I'd like your staples to be this far to the, to the beam. Ideally. So let's put the first one. Hold on. Let me get this lined up out here a little further. Out here toward the corner a little more. Yep. Okay, now let's just kind of walk our way along. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me, let me get a little more. 
probably be straighter if I line up. We were going to staple this polycarbonate down to the glue lamb beam with the flooring stapler that we used uh, for the subfloor in the video a couple videos ago. Um, it, 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 it is plenty powerful enough to staple through, but it, it for some reason or other it, it won't do it. It put in it's two or three staples day. and it uh, refused to go any further. So maybe it got too cold out here, I don't know, but we're going to switch to nails. We brought, we brought two things, so uh, we'll put a nail about every maybe four three or four to four to six inches. Let's go maybe a little further apart. Let's go about six inches. Yeah, and about a half inch in. Can you uh, put one in the middle there? Yeah, I like that to be nice and neat. Let's see what happens. How does it look? It looks really pretty straight. Yeah, okay. The sun really warms it up here. Uh, it's probably about 35 degrees right now and you can see just a little bit of melting on the side of that drift right there. Both sides of here, and both. Um, we're gonna do it on both, yeah. Okay. 
So you got the drill, right? Yep. Okay, let's go. Just drag it, drag it piece. Do I need to score that back? I do, don't um, I? Do you want it to curve? Yeah, it's not going to bend very easily. I don't. Good. We can start down that other end. Thing, and this is what's going to have a hard time doing. He's actually turning. Check this out. It is. I cut this gap out on either side, and that's where we'll lift. That cuts that 2x12 out, and that 2x8 floor system is right there. So we'll lift up on the bottom of the floor system and not just on that 2x12.
probably pull, just move the, with the forks, just move the beam a little back and it'll probably... Yeah, let me hit it a couple more times. Let's see if I could lift. Put some more blocks under there. I'd like to lift it about one inch. Just enough to free up these buckets. Cut a piece of dunnage and jam on top of that other block and see if I can get it to stay up there. One more block in there first. Okay. Bucket number one. Oh, wow. That's a heavy son of a gun right there. I'll be keeping that weight just a little bit so I can slide this down. Lord. <laughs> it's making an old man out of me. I rolled it down this way. That beam is going to go right here. Actually, let's just, let me see if I can move it by hand. See if I can slide this over. Oh, look at that. Piece of cake. It's kind of pivoting, isn't it? Can you, do you think you can hold this in here like this? Don't, don't let me flip over on you. I like it. I'd like to come. I'd like to leave about six, six inches sticking out this side. It's got a little too much. Tip them up a little because it's wanting to go that way, I think. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to back up and run my forks in. Well, actually, I think I'm just going to go right there. Boy, that is, that is right there. 
good. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a jack under it and get some get some dunnage under right here. I mean that's pretty much perfect. I don't know. We can't get it any better. I don't think. This one has that more on it. And then another. Do you have another block? Um. Are you there? Well, there's over there. Yeah. Yeah, over there, there's some layers of, of this one and a half dimension stuff. <clears throat> Let's get some of that in here. I'm afraid that icicle's gonna come down and stab us. Uh, probably will. Oh, that looks good. not bad actually you know what um, yeah it's like a quarter inch isn't it I'm gonna go grab a ratchet strap Top of the jack right there. I think that'll do it.
Mm. Mm. Well Fish. done. Well done, you. Pretty good for camping food. Pretty darn good for camping food. It's supposed to snow tonight. Surprise, surprise. Of course. And tomorrow. Want to try a piece? Come on. She got someone under her nose right there. I don't know if she likes potato. Well, like, I think if it was a whole apple, she wouldn't touch it. But she likes a little chunk that you cut up. Right. And it has to pop and crack. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It has to crunch. And just a little piece mm -hmm. at a time. Bell peppers. That's probably her well, favorite. Well, she loves blueberries. Mm. I absolutely love blueberries. Mm. Strawberries, not as much. Mm -hmm. She can spend all day in a blueberry patch. 